Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler. I'm here in Coffs Harbor, Australia. It's about one hour north of Sydney. Uh, it's my first time here. I'm really excited. It's insanely beautiful, as I'd heard, but I guess I couldn't really actually envision it until I got here and experienced it. So, but I want to do some yoga with you while I'm on the road. We're going to do a quick uh, retox, detox, no, just detoxing, just take it easy. Simple detox of all the stuff happening, whatever, in your life. Um, this one can go with anytime, anywhere. It's really nice, easy, and fun. We're going to get some uh, sweat moving too. So join me. Enjoy. So come to the front of your mat. Bring your palms together right at your heart. Close your eyes so you can feel down to your foundation. And start to lift all ten toes. Spread your toes apart and place them back down. And then with your eyes closed, maybe you can just kind of rock your body a little forward and backwards, left and right. Start to feel the vast surface area, all the nerves in the bottom of your feet. Feel the way you're being supported by the earth. Feel the earth holding you up. And then find a place where you now are balanced across all the points of your feet together. Then lift your kneecaps, feel your thighs active, scooping tailbone here so that you feel that gentle inward lift of your belly. Palms at your heart, shoulders draw back and down, eyes closed. Feeling stable and still, tall and powerful, notice your breath right now. Just breathing consciously, relaxing, but lengthening up through top of your head. As though someone were lifting you up with a string through your head. Good. Pause. Can I also, no, 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 no. It's okay. I'm just gonna, I can edit that, but can you keep track of the time for me? Of course. Thanks. So just tell me, you know, 15, whatever. Okay, unpause. Good, let's begin here. Inhale, swing your arm up to the sky. Full deep breath in, palms come together, and grow yourself up, lengthening everything as you gaze up at your thumbs. Exhale, I'm going to maybe bend our knees a little bit here and slowly fold yourself all the way down. Relax your neck ahead, just drape out over your legs. You want to feel your entire body relaxing now into the floor. Try to let go of tension from the back of your neck, your jaw, your face and shoulders, all that. See if you can feel a total release as though you're just hanging like a, like a wet rag off of a pole. And breathe here a moment, soft and deep. Notice the way your breath feels. Can you feel it moving deeper inside your body? Good, from here, let's next inhale. Just begin to lengthen our spine up halfway. Grow out long since your spine is pretty much parallel to the floor. Your fingertips either on your shins or on the floor, whatever happens naturally. And exhale, fold it back down, relax your neck and spine. Good, once again, let's inhale deeply and grow long out flat, parallel to the floor. Exhale, softly fold your body down. Ground your palms and step back to down dog. Now let's start here just noticing our foundation. So start by maybe lifting your hands up onto your finger, finger pads for a moment. So like you're creating Spider-Man hands or tree frog hands. So we have this cupping formation with our hand on the floor. And then from there, we're going to just slowly begin to spread or melt your fingers hands down. Fingers coming down to your knuckles, still lifting your wrists. Begin to then softly place your wrist down. Notice now the way that integrates the entirety of your palm all the way, but also keeps a lightness in your wrist. So this can help to really support and protect your wrist from getting too overused, too overworked. Okay, so now lengthening back through heels, feel your deepest breath. Nice guys. Next inhale, let's step your right foot up between your hands, all the way up. If it didn't make it, grab that ankle, pull it forward. Left knee softly down to the floor. Right knee is lined up over your right ankle. Come on to your finger pads again. So lengthening our spine long, heart open, gaze up, take a deep breath. Exhale, we'll shift your hips back. Now let your right leg lengthen long. It doesn't have to go all the way straight, but as long as possible. Hips square, relax your neck and head over your leg, fold over. Then inhale, shift your body forward, hips open, heart open. Exhale again, shift it back, relax your entire upper body. One more deep breath is going to shift you forward, tuck your back toes. Exhale, now step your feet forward and relax your neck and head entirely. Good, from here we're going to inhale, swing back up to the sky, let breath fill up. Let arms extend up from feet to fingertips. Exhale, dive it back down over your legs, relax your neck and spine. Inhale, lengthen up halfway, flat, long back. Exhale, fold, hands flat, and again, step back, find yourself down up. Let's do this hand formation once again, a little hand wave. Come on to those finger pads like tree frogs. 
and then spread your fingers apart. Come down to your knuckles. And then from knuckles softly, bring the pad of your hand down. So you feel this balanced, extended, stretching, firm support in your hand foundation. Now arms long, shoulder blades melt back, lengthening through tailbone, let your heels sink down towards the floor, and again, breathe deeply. Then your next inhale, you'll step your left foot up between your hands, all the way up, right knee softly to the floor. Come on to finger pads as your hips sink down. Open your heart, roll your shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, shift it back. Let your left leg go straight and relax your neck and spine entirely. Fold. Yes, use your breath. Inhale, shift you forward. Hips open, heart open, gaze up. Exhale, shift back and fold again. Relax your neck. One more time. Inhale, shifting forward. Tuck your back toes. Exhale, step both feet forward and fold entirely. Relax your neck. Inhale, let's re-swing back up. Feel this lifting sensation, arm to the sky, palms together. Exhale, fold all the way down, relax your neck and spine. Inhale, grow yourself out, halfway flat. Exhale, fold and step back to down dog. This time, I'm gonna keep our hands foundation, so maybe you start with the finger pads, spread the knuckles and then hands flat, get that found firm foundation. Then I'm gonna inhale, lift your hips up and tuck in your belly, sliding forward, pressing your heart out through your back to come into a plank pose, finding yourself in a straight line now parallel to the floor. Maybe you want to bring your knees softly down this time. Take a deep breath, shift over your wrist and exhale. Bend your elbows straight back, but keep your belly lifted as you slowly come down for this half chaturanga. Slowly come down, then lie flat on your belly, point your toes. Elbows in tight, then roll our heart open to cobra. Feel the lifting sensation with your chest, your shoulders. Elbows squeeze. Keep 10 toenails and lift up high. Keep rolling in, hips on the floor, come as high as you want. Keep the heart open, take a deep breath. When you exhale, let's lift back, tuck your toes to down dog, spread your fingers. Very nice, guys. Inhale now, let's lift your heels high. Exhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, and either step, jump, or float yourself up between your hands. Inhale up halfway, nice and long. Exhale, fold back down. Now, big toes come together to touch. You're gonna bend your knees, sit back deep towards the floor. Take a deep breath in. When you exhale this time, pressing into your feet, feel like your sits bones are sliding apart. Begin to roll yourself up, but keep your knees bending so you're sitting into the chair. Then, as we come up to chest, inhale, unfurl your arms up towards the sky into our chair pose. Take a look down. Can you see 10 toes? If not, more weight into your heels. Now keep scooping your belly in. Get your heart and arms up higher towards the sky. Then your chin slides back and then gaze up through your hands. Keep breathing deeply. Keep firing up, tucking tailbone. Scoop in the belly and lift through your heart. Good. Can you even sit a little deeper now? Fabulous, take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna sit your hips down now to the floor for three, four, two, keep your arms up. You got it, one, good, sit your bum down, that's it, and softly come to sit here, grab behind your thighs for a moment. Lift your heart so you lengthen through heart. This is using our psoas muscles particularly. Shoulders back and then come to balance. Fabulous. Now legs can squeeze together if you want, then palms, they come together at your heart or keep supporting your legs with your hands. Try to lift your heart into your hands, shoulders back. Then from there you can even bring your legs a little straighter if that's in your practice. What works for you? Breathing deeply and slowly. Let's take a nice full breath in here. Exhale, twist to the right side, keeping hands at your heart. Go as far as you can to the right. Wonderful, now maybe extend your right arm back, left arm forward. Keep lengthening heart lifted, maybe gaze back towards your right thumb. Take a deep breath. Wonderful, exhale, palms back together at your heart. Lift your heart into your thumbs, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side as far as you can. Keep twisting left and then maybe extend your left arm back, right arm forward. Try to get a straight line between your arms, maybe gaze back towards your left thumb. Beautiful, back to center, take a deep breath, lift. Now exhale, bring your body halfway down to the floor. Wonderful, arms now, I'm gonna take a deep breath in. Open your mouth to stick your tongue out, begin to pant like a dog. Once you feel your belly pumping, Close your mouth, keep going through your nose. Bastika for the last 10. Seven, six, you got this. Five, four, three, two. Arms up to the sky or back behind you. Take a deep breath. Exhale, let's release hug knees into your chest. Wonderful, guys. Take a deep breath, head on the floor. Rock your body a little side to side. Massaging out tension from your back. Come back to center now, grab behind your thighs and rock your body forward and backwards up and down the entire length of your spine. Continue that vigorous rocking now. 
When you're ready, let's see if you can just rock yourself up to a forward fold in front of your mat. Hang over your legs, relax your neck and spine. Very nice. Inhale, let's lengthen up halfway. Nice flat back. Exhale, fold, hands down, and step back to down dog. Once again, inhale, let's lift heels, lift your tailbone, scoop in your belly and puff out your back over your wrist into a straight line plank. Find yourself nice and straight. Take a deep breath in. This time I'm gonna exhale, shift weight to your right wrist. Turn your heels out, maybe one foot in front of the other or stacking your feet. Then let your left um, arm go up towards the sky, side plank. If you need to modify any time, you can bring your right knee down to the floor. Breathing soft, deep breaths, tilting your pelvis up, heart open, then you gaze up at your lifted thumb. You can even challenge, extend your left arm out over your ear towards the front of the room. Wonderful, take a deep breath in. And exhale, left hand back to the floor. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, we're gonna shift weight now to left wrist. Turn out your heels and either again, line them up or stack your feet. Pelvis forward, heart open. Keep your belly sucking in, scooping your tailbone, right arm up towards the sky. Again, if you need to modify left knee down, Otherwise, continue to tilt your pelvis and heart open, maybe gazing up. Smooth out your breathing. And if you want challenge, again, you can extend your right arm over your ear, towards front of the room, gazing up inside your arm. Take a deep breath. There you are, yes, exhale. Bring hands back to the floor. Either knees down, now, or chaturanga, all the way down to the floor. From there, inhale, lift out to cobra, or up dog if you want, lifting heart forward enough, keeping legs strong, heels in, gaze up. Good. From here, you might even keep your toes pointed, sucking into your belly, your psoas, lift through your hips to come back to pointed plank and then straight over, rolling over one toe at a time, or tuck your toes down, dog. Spread your fingers, find that found firm foundation. Space between arms and ears, relax your neck. Beautiful, next thing, let's take your right leg up towards the sky, fill your lungs up. Exhale, bend knee to nose. Now come in over your wrists as far as you can. Inhale, back and high, fill your lungs. Exhale, gonna bend knee up around the outside of your upper right shoulder. Yeah, inhale, back and high again, fill your lungs. Exhale, bend under your body, now touch your left elbow. Go to touch, go for it, you can do it. Good, inhale, back and high, deep breath. Exhale, this time, let's swing foot up between your hands. Good, we're gonna keep our back leg straight, take a deep breath in, fill your lungs up. When you exhale, begin to pull your feet together, pull your inner thighs, and scoop your belly up and in. Inhale, unfurl your arms up, high lunge. Self-adjust, take a moment, let's all bring hands on our hips. Can you feel your hips squaring off, both to the front of the room and the floor? Squaring off, you've got your front knee over your front ankle. Back leg is long and straight. Good, let's take a deep breath, bring your arms up to the sky, fill your lungs up, fill up deeper. Exhale, now we're gonna drop our right arm back, left arm forward. Open your heart to the right side, good. Keep breathing, now self-adjust. Can you maybe reach your right hand back a little more so that your shoulders are neutrally lined up over your hips? Can you keep your front knee bending over your front ankle but bring your left leg a little straighter? Lift your heart, roll your shoulders back and then start to gaze back towards your right thumb. Good, beautiful, stay here now if you like. Or you can also take your right hand on top of your left thigh Turn your left palm up and bring it up over your head. Maybe stretch out towards the back of the room as far as you can. Let your left fingertips grow super magnetic. Let your heart roll open and maybe even gaze up a little. Breathing deep. Reach it back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, now we're gonna come back forward. Now, don't change, listen carefully. Keep your heart out to the right. Bring your palms together to your heart. Then begin to just bow forward, dipping your left elbow around the outside of your right thigh. Good, if you want to adjust, you can also use your right hand to push your left elbow down a little further around the outside of your thigh for balance, getting good leverage. Then, replace your palms together, pressing together towards your heart. You can also, anytime you want, bring your left knee down or keep your back leg strong. Use your deepest breath here and twist. Powerful breath should be pressing down into your belly, into your hips, super deep, and then exhale, start to twist you a little deeper. Perhaps eventually even gazing up past your right shoulder towards the sky eventually. Cool, if you do find that both your palms can come to the middle of your chest, you may like to bring your left hand down, right arm up towards the sky for prayer twist too. Slow deep breaths. And if it's in your practice, you wanna try that bind, you can turn your right palm away, bending right elbow back behind you, and then eventually left arm comes underneath, perhaps eventually 
hooking fingertips. Continue your deepest breath. Keep your back leg strong and bright and begin to roll your heart open a little more deeply. So good, breathe into this guys. Take one more deep breath in and then exhale, let's unravel hands, float you back to the floor, ground your palms flat. Drop your back heel out to the floor now. Then let your right leg grow as straight as it wants. Nice and long, take a deep breath, feel your right hip lift up and away. Feel your lungs, create space in your belly, in your chest. Exhale, fold down over your leg, little pyramid pose. Relax here for a few moments. Continue your deepest breath flowing within. Your unimpeded breathing and try to seal off both your feet to the floor. So both of your feet are firmly pressed equally through every single point. Particularly pressed through the ball mound of your right big toe and that ball of your foot. Breathing deep. Then let your right hip continue to lift up and away from the floor. Keep breathing as deep as you can. Exhale, folding you a little deeper. Even relax your neck and shoulders if you can. Beautiful. Next thing, we'll lift your head and chest. Exhale, bend your front knee, turn your back heel up. Ground your palms and suck in your belly. We're gonna bend right knee and extend your right leg back up to the sky, high as you can. Keep lifting and then stack right hip on top of left. From there, even perhaps bend your right knee. Keep pressing your heart back to back of the room. Relax your neck and spine. Slow, deep breaths here for a moment. Wonderful, if you want to and it feels good for you, you can even slowly perhaps flip your dog all the way around to rock star pose. Then suck in your belly. Let's bend down towards the floor, take a deep breath. Exhale, feel full extension, extend out through fingertips. Lift your hips as high as they can go. Reach your right fingers towards the floor. Heart open, take a deep breath in. And exhale, let's return. Right hand to the floor, take your right leg back up behind you, fill your lungs up. Exhale, swing right foot between your hands, and then step both feet forward to fold at the front of your max. Relax everything here, neck, spine, shoulders, back, just hang it out. Perhaps you'll even take a deep, slow breath in. Fill your lungs up as much as you can, really nice and deep. Fill up, fill up. Beautiful, open mouth, tongue out, just let it out. Good, and relax again. Now we'll bring our big toes to touch, or nice and close. Bend your knees, sit your body down, chair pose. Take a deep breath, prepare. Pulling your sits bones apart by pressing in your feet like you're pressing the floor apart. Exhale, begin to squeeze up and in. Inhale, unfurl your arms up towards the sky, nice and deep. Beautiful, can you sit a little deeper now? Really deep breaths are gonna cleanse your body out entirely. That breath is by far the best detoxing mechanism we have. But as you continue to find the deeper posture, you get access to deeper layers of your being. So find that breath, chin back, gaze up, sit a little deeper. Beautiful, arms a little higher. Nice deep breath in. And we'll exhale, fold it all the way down. Relax your neck and spine. Inhale, let's lengthen up halfway again. Long spine out, exhale, fold, step, jump, or float back to down dog. Fingers spread nice and wide. Relax your neck and spine. Beautiful, inhale, let's lift heels, lift hips, and curl your back out over your wrists into plank pose. Knees down or chaturanga softly towards the floor. Inhale, lift out to either cobra or up dog. Your choice, lift your heart, gaze up, and then point to toe plank or from your knees, lift back to down dog. Spread your fingers wide. You can use that wave formation with your wrist again. Inhale, bring your left leg up as high as you can. Exhale, bend knee to nose, come in over your wrist, curl, curl your back out. Inhale, back and high, deep breath, lift. Exhale, bend knee high up around the outside of your left tricep. Good, inhale, back and high, deep breath in. One more time, exhale, bend knee under your body, touch your right elbow, go for it, you can do it, touch it, touch it. That's it, inhale, back and high. Wonderful, exhale, curl in and step your left foot between your hands. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, we're gonna curl our body up and in. And then inhale, unfurl arms up to the sky. Take a moment again, hands on hips and square off as best you can. Line it up, left knee over left ankle. And then relengthen through your back leg. So we feel tailbone tucking, never crunching lower back. Then bring arms back to the sky. Find your best posture you can this moment. No judgment, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring palms to heart and open to the left side, left arm back, right arm forward. Readjust, how to refine those points of, of interest. So you feel extension, arms are growing long and reach back a little more through left fingertips. Maybe gaze back at your left thumb. 
keep your left knee bending deeply. Full deep breaths. Maybe stay there or left hand on top of your right thigh. Right palm up and extend, swing back behind you. Still lifting through your heart, deep in your breath. Back leg long, left knee bending. Can you stretch it back a little further? Beautiful, now come back to center. Palms to your heart, take a deep breath. Exhale, continue to dip forward. So now we tuck right elbow around the outside of your left thigh. Maybe use your left hand to tuck your elbow deeper around your thigh. Keep your back leg long and straight or knee to the ground. Deepen your breath, pressing left palm into right. Continue this twisting sensation, maybe eventually gazing up past your left shoulder. Slow deep breath, stay here. Or extend one arm down, one arm up. Keep breathing powerful and deep. Feel into the twist by pushing breath into your belly. And you could stay there or challenge. You might take your left arm behind, right arm under, and eventually hooking your fingers. If you can't do that, you can always use a towel or a strap. Still breathing your deepest breath. Try to find the full twist of your heart lifted towards the sky. Take one more deep breath here. Good, exhale. Unravel, hands come back to the floor. Come onto your finger pads. Turn off your back foot, so just drop it down flat. And let your left leg go straighter, right? Good, so left hip now lifts up and away from your foot. Take a deep breath, create space in your belly, nice and long. Exhale, fold everything down, neck and spine, shoulders and back. Continue squaring off your hips as you find that deepest, smoothest breath possible for a few moments. Keep neck and spine relaxing. Keep your breath smooth and deep, powerful and full. How deep can you relax? How deep can you breathe? Beautiful. Next inhale, let's lift your head and chest up. Exhale to bend your left knee. Step your right foot back. Ground your palm. You kind of slide them down again. Tuck your belly as you lift your left leg way up to the sky. Lift, lift, lift. Stack left hip on right and then bend your left knee. Right heel sinking, left knee lifting. Breathing deep. If you love this stretch, stay in it. If you want to challenge, you could also slowly flip your dog out to rock star pose. Let's go ahead and tuck in for a moment. Take a deep breath, prepare. As you exhale, find fuller extension expression out through your hips and arm out towards front of the room. Keep reaching nice and long. Take a deep breath in. Good. Exhale, return your left hand to the floor. Take your left leg up to the sky. Full breath in. Exhale, let's go ahead and swing left foot up between your hands. And then right foot forward as well. Fold here for a moment, relax your neck and spine. Then we'll heel toe your feet apart. Oh, about shoulder distance, a little wider if you need to. Then start to bend your knees, coming down for squats. Hips towards the floor, elbows inside your knees, palms together. Sit back as far as you can. If you need to, you can keep your hips up. Always respect your knees. Deep, slow breaths. Keep sitting bum down, heart open, shoulders back. Elbows pressing your knees apart. Wonderful, stay here. Or we can begin to work our way into crow. Using that same formation, we're gonna spread with fingertips to get a really firm foundation. We're then gonna come into crow, an option for tripod if that's in your practice. So, fingertips to the floor, lift your hips up and adjust your feet. Fingertips spread down to knuckles and then down to wrists. Then elbows start to bend and lifting heels, bring your knees up as high as you can towards your armpits. Cool? Got that foundation, stay here or slowly shifting forward. Take your time. Keep your belly sucking up and in, maybe one foot at a time to lift. Maybe both feet lift, big toes touch. Cool, you like that, you're working on a stay there. Or eventually, if it's comfortable for you, we could slowly bend your elbows deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, deeper, deeper until you're about to touch, then tuck your chin, prop your head on the floor. Strong core from there, lifting your knees slowly up towards the sky and then feet up as well. No hurry. Breathing deep here for a few moments. Wonderful. If you came up, you can come down the same way. Rebending your knees, slowly realign your knees on your upper arms and then slow it down by a third even there so that you can come back into crow. Perhaps. Wonderful. And then bring our feet to the floor. Awesome. Let's come on to your bum. Sit back for a moment. Good. Lie onto your back then, all the way back, hugging knees into your chest. 
Hug them in tight, let your lower back come towards the floor. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, bring your feet softly back down to the earth. Cross your right there over top of left. Lift your hips, shift them to the right slightly, and then let your knees softly fall over to the left side. Left hand on your thigh, right arm out to the right. Palm up, face to the right. Slow your breathing down. Relax your whole body. Good, then inhale, bring your knees back to center. <clears throat> Unravel, switch sides. Hips shift to the left. Knees can fall to the right. Right hand on your thigh, left arm left, and then gaze out to left. Slow your breathing down again. Deepen your breath into your body. Relax as deeply as you can. Good. Next inhale, bring your knees back to center. Then we're going to hug knees back in your chest once again. Letting now our knees open apart, keep your feet together, reach through, and grab your feet. Then release your head back onto the floor. Begin to pull your feet in towards your belly, or maybe you lift them up towards your chest or your head. Kind of feeling that stretch, but keep your feet together like a sandwich. Slowly keeping those feet together, bring them back down, and then if you want, let your heels apart so that the ankles line up over your knees, happy baby. See if you can, leave your back as flat as possible to the floor. Maybe you're gonna rock a little side to side if that feels good. Maybe stretching one leg and the other leg. Excuse me. Come back to center. Bring your feet to the floor. Let's push hands onto your thighs and compress your thighs out away from your body a little bit, kind of decompressing your spine. Wonderful. From here, when you're ready, extend your legs apart, arms apart, palms up, preparing your final relaxation. Let your head nod side to side. Breathe out any remaining tension. Back to center as you're ready. Continue to feel the full release of all your muscles, tension, relaxing your face and jaw. Continue now to release and relax into this pose as long as you like. Each moment letting go a little deeper. Letting go of any tension, toxin, stress. Continue to relax here, softening into this deepest repose. Feeling the effects of your detox. And know that you can continue this process throughout your class, throughout the world, in the life that you live by focusing on those deep, slow breaths, focusing on relaxation whenever possible. Noticing when stress comes into your body being aware of these things, this is beginning to bring your yoga out into the world with you. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a beautiful day and a fabulous week. In the name of the high school. Namaste.